Okay, just a quick one on um, these tools from MQLD, MQDL, I should say. Uh, the Unwrap and Relax um, plugins, very, very useful if you want to do any UV mapping. Um, Auto is a scene based uh, unwrap, uh, and then you follow up with uh, relax. Um, so I'll show that in a minute. You will need to put a keyboard shortcut on the relax because um, you'll end up trying to access this hundreds of times. Um, so you, you're better off with a with a key to press. Um, if you're not familiar with that, um, it's file configuration keyboard and uh, in here this particular um, plugin is under menu selected and you just find the relevant plugin here and assign whichever key you you fancy I've got it on L but uh, put it where you like okay so on to we'll just I'll just do the um, the primitives to start with as they're fairly um, trouble free. Um, now I want to keep um, the cap ends connected to the to the sides. So if you just uh, deselect those two, uh, that should be enough for the um, cylinder, um, the cube we just need to select three on either side and uh, one across the other axis and uh, unwrap auto so if we look at that in the UVs um, it looks something like that okay so the cube um, okay so we've got six squares pretty much what you'd expect um, very nice um, cylinder doesn't look quite right yet um, so all you need to do it's very straightforward just select two UVs it doesn't matter which two um, pick any two and relax and there you have your complete um, unwrap of the uh, the cylinder very nicely done um, now just to show you I'm gonna mess these UVs up on the uh, on the cube here just to show you how robust um, this can be um, complete mess there so all you need to do is just select two UVs any two and relax and uh, that will bring it back to where it was. There's a scaling. You'll have to mess with the scale after, but uh, it does unwrap it um, uh, proportionally, I should say. So, um, so I got to thinking with this, um, what would be a really challenging thing. So I made, um, I made this uh, kind of bit of pasta here. Just to see how that would work with the uh, with the unwrap tools. Um, as you can see, there's a knot in it as well. So uh, as far as seams go, pretty much the same procedure as uh, as the primitives. You need to select the cap end um, and uh, the loop going at, across the length. Um, and just loop those. Um, once again, I want to keep the cap ends joined, so just deselect one um, one edge um, and uh, unwrap. So that would be, uh, I mean, generally speaking, that would be uh, impossible with Atlas. Atlas would give you. Um, something quite hideous. Now, <clears throat> there's a slight different approach with this. It's not quite as simple. I'll show you. Um, 
if we just select the two again and just hold down whichever keyboard shortcut you've got set up and you'll see it um, unwrap um, the problem is with that and that's just holding down the, the button um, it's because it's it's kind of going back on itself twice so it's um you get a kind of distortion with it so you kind of have to 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 um to show it the way to go um so if i just revert back to the original unwrap um and just if i just select say this one and pull it up here um another one and pull that up there I'll select those two and just press your relax again that pulls that end better and then the same with this you can pull that over there um, you don't have to be accurate with it it's just so you give it a, a clue as to where you want to go uh, unwrap again as you can see we're getting somewhere near um, now I think if you if you select um, the number up up the sort of centre of this, um, you can use um, a line here from the palette and um, unwrap it. Uh, sorry, relax again, and you'll see it's getting quite close now. Um, with a little bit more work, I think. You can probably get that um, pretty much perfect. Um, let's just have a look with that, and yeah, it's better. So yeah, so pretty good tools all in all. I think those. Uh, I think you can get that better with a bit more work. Uh, at least you know what you're doing with it now. Okay.